Good day, everyone. So I am Kimberly and A. Chong Son. I am your reporter for today, and I am going to discuss about Chapter 14, The Teaching of Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan, or APP, and Technology and Livelihood Education, or TLE. So this chapter has three learning outcomes. First, state the legal basis of the teaching of APP and TLE. Second, discuss the intended outcomes, the scope, guidelines, and guiding principles, approaches, and methods in teaching APP and TLE. Third, the alignment of goals, standards, and content in the teaching of APP and TLE. So APP is the name of the subject in TLE from grades four to six. Filipino is the medium of instruction for grades four to five. English is used as medium of instruction in grade six APP in preparation for the teaching of TLE in English starting grade seven. APP and TLE cover four areas, agriculture and fisheries, so for agriculture, it includes crop production and animal production. So fisheries, of course, it includes aquatic uh, activities. And ICT, or the Information and Communication Technology, it involves the learning about computer from uh, basic up until the most advanced. We have industrial arts. It includes woodworking, uh, masonry, and um, uh, carpentry. No? So we also have home economics, might include dressmaking, and um, cookery. So entrepreneurship is integrated in all the four areas of DLE from grade four to 10. It is offered as an 80 hour subject in senior high school as an applied track subject. We have Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, which is popularly known as the K-12 law. It states that the curriculum shall be flexible enough to enable and allow schools to localize, indigenize and enhance the same base under respective educational and social contexts. The legal basis of the teaching of APP and TLE. According to 1987 Philippine Constitution, Article 2, Section 17, give priority to education, science and technology, arts, culture, and sports to foster patriotism and nationalism, accelerate social progress, and promote total human liberation and development. So this Philippine Constitution article, um, it really give importance, importance to you know, the, the growth of the learner to become globally competitive. So we have RA10647 and act strengthening the letterized interface between uh, technical vocational education and training in higher education, which was signed into law on November 21st, 2014. It states that it's hereby declared the policy of the state to institutionalize the laterized interface between technical vocational education and training, or the so-called TVET, and higher education to open the pathways of opportunities for career and educational progression of students and workers. Create a seamless and borderless system of education empower students and workers to exercise options or to choose when to enter and exit in the education in the education ladder and provide job platforms at every exit as well as the opportunity to earn income 
So it will not just uh, deal about theory, but of course, we need to expect or we need to aim that our learners will um, become competent enough to uh, have a livelihood no? uh, with regards to the learning that they obtain in TLE or in EPP. So we will help our learners to strengthen those uh, skills. So intended outcomes of the teaching of EPP and TLE or the learning area standard. As the framework of TLE teaching indicates the teaching and learning of TLE ultimately leads to higher education, middle level manpower, entrepreneurship and employment. In fact, this is the learning area standard of TLE. If you study the diagram of the framework for the teaching of EPP and TLE found in this uh, link, uh, the study of the areas of TLE, namely agriculture and fishery arts, industrial arts, home economics, ICT is expected to lead technological proficiency. So what is technological proficiency? It is the ability to apply the technical knowledge and skills and values learned in the four areas of TLE. The TLE student must be able to demonstrate mastery of specific behavior or skill measured against established standards in various levels, such as level one and level two. Key stage standards. From grades four to six, the learner demonstrates an understanding of the basic knowledge and skills in entrepreneurship and ICT, agriculture, home economics and industrial arts toward the improvement of personal life, family and community. So from four to six, uh, this is just a basic knowledge for uh, those uh, areas now of TLE. So this is an exploratory stage for our learners. From grade seven to 10, the learners, I mean, the learner demonstrates an understanding of the basic concepts of selected TLE course in home economics, industrial arts, agriculture and fishery arts, and ICT competencies common to TLE courses such as use and maintenance of tools, observing safety in the workplace, mensuration and calculation, and interpreting technical drawings and gain specialized knowledge and skills in at least one TLE that would enable him or her to obtain NC2. So in this stage, um, learners had already prior knowledge to what are the basic um, understanding that uh, he or she obtained from uh, the the area that he chose you knowing TLE. So in grade seven to 10, we already expose our learner on how to, uh, how to use uh, the skills prior to their chosen area for TLE. So in grade 11 and 12, the learner demonstrates specialized technical skills that would enable him or her to obtain NC2. So what are NC1 and NC2? So these are different levels of national certificates awarded by the Technical Skills and Development Authority or the so-called TESTA. To a student who passes the assessment given by the same agency, the national certificate levels refer to the four qualification levels defined in the Philippine Technical and Vocational Education and Training. The two levels NC1 and NC2, which are expected to be, earned in, to be earned in grades 9 and 10 and in grades 11 and 12, respectively, are explained on the next page. So a student who obtains an NC1 means that he or she is able to perform routine and predictable tasks, has little judgment, and works under supervision. 
a holder of NC2 is one who can perform a prescribed range of functions involving known routines and procedures. He or she has limited choice and complexity of functions and has little accountability. So now, um, uh, for obtaining NC2, it is expected that the learner um, is already responsible for the routines and procedures that he or she is performing. So in grades eight to 10, personal entrepreneurial competencies or PECs, the environment and market process production and delivery are discussed in the context of the specialization that the student has chosen. So when I remember before, we have this uh, personal entrepreneurial competencies. This is somewhat like an assessment to yourself. So you need to assess yourself. So um, there are questionnaires that you need to answer and um, it will measure you um, with your strengths and weaknesses. So in senior high school, the students are expected to demonstrate specialized skills that enable them to obtain national certificate level two. The specialization which the students have chosen beginning grade nine after the exploratory courses in grade seven and eight may be continued in senior high school. A grade 11 and 12, this enables the DLA student to earn at least NC2. In senior high school, entrepreneurship is a separate applied track subject based on the grade level standards given below. Entrepreneurship as a separate subject in senior high school will dwell on preparing and applying a creative and an innovative business plan, simple accounting, and financial plans to determine the feasibility and viability of the business of one's technology and vocational specialization. So grade level standards. So for grade four, the learner demonstrates basic knowledge, skills, and values in agriculture, entrepreneurship, and ICT, home economics, and industrial arts that can help improve self and family life. For grade five, the learner demonstrates increased knowledge, skills, and values in entrepreneurship and ICT, agriculture, home economics, and industrial arts, toward improving family life and the community. For grade six, the learner demonstrates enhanced and expanded knowledge in entrepreneurship and ICT, agriculture, home economics, and industrial arts toward the improvement of the family's economic life and the community. For grade seven, the learner demonstrates an understanding of basic concepts and underlying principles in developing fundamental skills in exploratory technology and vocational education, EPP, TLE, and uh, TVE. So for grade eight, the learner demonstrates an understanding of his, her personal entrepreneurial competencies or PECs, the environment and market and process production, and delivery of the technology and vocational education course in which he or she has specialized. Grade nine, the learner demonstrates an understanding of his, her personal entrepreneurial competencies or PECs, the environment and market and process production and delivery of the technology and vocational education course in which he or she specialized. For grade 10, the learner demonstrates an understanding of his, her personal entrepreneurial competencies or PECs, the environment and market and the process production and delivery of the technology and vocational education in which he, she specializes. For grade 11, the learner demonstrates an understanding of the principles in preparing a creative and innovative business plan as it relates with marketing, 
operations and human resource and simple accounting and financial plans to determine the feasibility and viability of the business of his her technology and vocational specialization. And for grade 12, the learner demonstrates an understanding of the principles in applying the business plan of his her choice based on his her TNVE specialization. So here is a summary of how EPP and TLA are taught in the K-12 curriculum. For grade four, basic concepts in agriculture, entrepreneurship and ICT, home economics, industrial arts to improve self and family life. So for grade five, increased knowledge in agriculture, entrepreneurship and ICT, home economics, industrial arts to improve family life and community. For grade six, enhance and expanded knowledge in agriculture, entrepreneurship and ICT, home economics, industrial arts to improve family life and community. For seven and eight, it is now the exploratory stage, of exploratory courses in at least eight subjects, four subjects in grade seven and four in, in uh, and four in grade eight. In the four TLA areas, agriculture, ICT, home economics. Um, personal entrepreneurial competencies only in grade eight. For nine and 10, specialization with personal entrepreneurial competencies, environment and market, process production and delivery. For grade 11, continuation of specialization started in grade nine with preparing and implementing a business plan, simple accounting and financial plan to determine the feasibility and viability of one business. For grade 12, continuation of specialization in entrepreneurship as an applied track subject. So this is a sample of home economics curriculum map. I do apologize since uh, it's kind of blurry. So if you have a copy of this, you can take a look. So uh, yeah, I just uh, screenshot this one. This was, uh, you know, this was just sent by a friend. So I don't have the uh, hard copy for this. So if you have the copy, just take a look on the sample of home economics curriculum map. So we have the guidelines and guiding principles and teaching of EPP and TLE. So first, it covered the four TLE areas in grades seven and eight for exploratory purposes, agriculture and fisheries, ICT, home economics, and industrial arts. This means that the TLE students must be given the opportunity to explore various TLE subjects before they finally chose their TLE specialization in grades nine and 10. So second, it developed uh, students entrepreneurial mindset. Third, do contextualize uh, teaching. Fourth, uh, make use of experiential learning and teaching TLE as it is a skill-dominated subject. And fifth, do subject offering systematically from grades 7 to 12. Enable the TLE student to obtain an NC1 in grade 10 and NC2 in grade 12. Six, integrate work values and life skills in teaching of TLE as it focuses on knowledge and information, entrepreneurial concepts including process and delivery, work values and life skills. So when we say work values, it includes strong work ethic, dependability and responsibility, positive attitude, Positive attitude, adaptability, honesty, self motivation, love for continuing self development, and lifelong learning. Self confidence, professionalism, and loyalty are usually the top work values that employers seek their workers. 
So life skills enable students to survive in the classroom and in the world beyond the classroom. Life skills enable them to develop their potential to the full and live a fulfilling life. These are self-awareness, empathy, effective communication, creative thinking, critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, understanding one's emotions, coping with stress, interpersonal skills, and productive entrepreneurial skills. The last set of skills is the main concern of TLE. That's according to Teacher Education Council Experiential Learning Courses 2009. That ends my report. Thank you so much for listening, classmates.